What's up everybody, this is Kyle Schmidt with KGS Baseball, Keep the Game Simple. I wanted to take a few moments today to speak on the application of the CRT belt as it relates to receiving in-game while providing some examples of high-level catchers receiving the ball. Here for this video, I'm using the OnForm app to break down and talk about these videos just like we do with our remote catching clients. I want to start by showing a clip of Jose Trevino with the Yankees receiving a 102 mile an hour sinker, which is a very difficult pitch to receive, especially when it's at the bottom of the zone or below the zone. Trevino is working out of a kickstand stance, and I'm going to go ahead and play this for you at full speed. As you can see, he is working through this pitch back up into the zone. The strength that Trevino exhibits here is really, really cool to see. And when we're talking about the CRT belt, at its core, it is meant for building receiving strength. When pitches are coming at us at high speeds with lots of movement, being strong with our glove is really, really important. If we can't control the ball, we're likely not going to be able to receive as well as we would like. And a pitch like this might end up taking our glove away from the zone instead of back towards it. When this happens, umpires are much less likely to make the strike call even if the pitch is largely in zone. Now, of course, we still have to remain smooth while receiving, but the blend of fluidity and strength needed to control the ball becomes more and more important whenever strikes, outs, and runs are on the line. Like we've discussed in our receiving handbook, the ability to generate more strikes, create more outs for your team, and save runs becomes very valuable at any level. If we switch up the view and look at Trevino's glove mechanics from the first base side, you can see how he is creating force into an extended position against the ball before controlling the pitch back up into the zone. These types of pitch locations where the CRT belt can have a huge impact on a catcher's overall strength and receiving mechanics. I went ahead and used the same video of Trevino receiving that fastball down low and compared it against somebody wearing one of our CRT belts. Notice how if Trevino was wearing a CRT belt while making this move, he would be working against its resistance as the glove moves towards the ball and then back up into the zone. We wanted to create something that would mimic and enhance these types of actions when training at a lower intensity or during practice. That said, the CRT belt is not at all exclusive to catchers who work into extension while receiving. This is a clip of Austin Barnes of the Dodgers receiving a left-handed slider. Notice how he absorbs the ball back into his presentation. He makes this type of move on many of the pitches he receives and works out of a more traditional stance. When we look at this type of action from the side, two things stand out. First, Barnes is working from his pre-pitch move into the ball while creating force. Then, as the ball hits his mitt, he is absorbing the pitch back into his body and presenting the ball to the umpire. The CRT belt is great for both resisting the initial movements from both of these catchers and assisting the movement back into presentation if we are working the glove in a way that is similar to someone like Barnes. While at some form of extension, a catcher could let the resistance band help them make this type of move. When we look at these receptions side by side, there are clear differences, but the initial movement patterns and how these catchers create force to control the pitch are very similar. As we scroll through here, we can see that although Trevino is working out of a more modern, newer kickstand stance and Barnes is working on two feet, as they approach the ball with their glove, they're creating force to control the pitch as it comes in and hits their mitt. And then Trevino is gonna work more uphill back into the zone out in front, where Barnes is gonna receive this pitch into a position of more flexion or having a little bit more bend in that elbow and presenting the ball with a relatively flat glove to the umpire. So whether you're a professional player or you're still chasing that dream, the CRT belt complements the mechanics used by the best in the game to most importantly, keep strikes from being called balls while also helping you to earn a few more for your team. We've seen the CRT belt become a great addition for building strength, improving receiving mechanics, warming up before games, and ultimately is a tool that provides feedback for what you will be doing when the lights come on. Hopefully some of the videos that you saw here today help illustrate that point, and we're looking forward to putting more content out there like this. You can check out the CRT belt at kgsbaseball.com, and make sure to follow us on all our social channels at KGS Baseball.